Okay, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. I've already got a session open. And I am going to attempt to bring a file in here to the timeline. And as you can see, there's no video. There's only an audio track. So, solution one. Solution one is basically to clear the Adobe Media Cache, which I'll show you how to do. You go up to Edit, then down to Preferences, and then highlight Media Cache. And that opens a window, a dialog window, that you can then use to delete your Media Cache. Now, I will say that that, for the record, has never worked for me, but it has for other people, and that's why I'm mentioning it here. Because apparently that does work for people, but with my system, I have a Windows system, PC, Windows 10, it has not worked. Which led me to solution two. Solution two, you simply right click on the file in question and go up to new sequence from clip. And lo and behold, there's our video. Okay, then what you want to do is highlight that, hit control C or right click and copy, go back to your original sequence and our other file is still in there. Go to an open place in the timeline, Control V in Windows, paste, and we now have the video in the previous sequence. Now this has worked most of the time for me. Um, it was very, very useful, saved me a lot of time, until it suddenly did not work anymore. And when I went to create the new sequence, it didn't transfer the video into that sequence. It just brought the audio into the sequence, which led me to solution three. Okay, for solution three, we're going to be looking at this column right here, which is called the source patching and insert column. I've never used it. Uh, but if you notice right now that there's nothing listed above the audio in that column. But watch what happens when I bring the file into the timeline. Okay, now we have a V1 listed there. We still only have audio in the timeline, but there is this V1 icon. So if you click on that and then grab the same file, and bring it in, there's your video. Okay, now this has become my go-to solution when this problem occurs and has worked pretty much all the time. Prior to finding this, I had another solution that did work. It's just a little more time intensive and that would be solution four. Okay, so solution four involves a file conversion which means just basically taking whatever file you have, your MP4 or your MOV file, and converting it either to another format or to the same format using a different codec that Adobe Premiere will understand better or will accept. Now this worked for me. As much as I can, I'll try to use free resources. And for converting, I use this program, which is called VLC Media Player, because it has a great file converter program built right in. You just add files here, and then convert, at which point you can click and choose whichever format you want to convert that file to, and you have a lot of options there. That's a great program. Works very well. Um, I actually had an MP4 in, in this situation that Premiere would not accept. I, the video was not displaying. I reconverted it using VLC to an MP4 using their codec. Then all of a sudden, Adobe Premiere was perfectly happy with it. So that does work. So there you have it. Four solutions for resolving the problem of no video displaying in Adobe Premiere. It's a bug, a glitch in the software. Adobe should get around to fixing it at some point. But until then, I do hope this helps. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please don't forget to subscribe and or follow, smash that notification button, hit that like button, and leave me a comment down below. It really does help for the sustainability of the channel. Thank you for watching and stay safe.